Let's there we get go. into the action. It's Mirage between Mirage and this one. And, and, and I'm the lead. They're and feeling we're gonna really see good about this one. What they can do here and make sure that Swedes come out on top no matter what. That's because, well, there's quite a few Swedes in attendance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the SO1 Road to Rio. We're done confusing you. We're done throwing the curveballs. It's now time for the knuckleball. That is Mirage. And it's coming at you thick and fast. Yeah, the only thing we throw in is flashbangs up in this one. Flash and Flusher, bang. he's got a couple of them. Flashbangs going over the A site. Golden in for a fight with them, but oh, instantly deleted. Lecro's gonna hit a quick shot off the USP. And Fnatic, it was all a ruse. Again, I like the the you know drawing of attention. They're trying to get NIP to look the wrong way to deceive them. They get up into window, but Norks in ladder. He's got the shot. Oh no, the Vence takes the bullet, and he's not gonna be able to get that kill on JW's down to 10. Nork gets finished. That's impeccable by Brolin. Double tag onto Nork. First bullet headshot. Fnatic back in a four on four. And with a man behind enemy lines. Yeah, and here in just a few seconds, we'll cast around all at the same time, too. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> we hope that you all enjoy really? it. <laughs> Hell no, we're not doing that. Brolin, Krims find themselves positioned in the connectors. Smoke blocking them out of the site as it is. Somehow, Lecro. Debating a rotation. Rez doesn't even have time to think about it. He gets eliminated. Lecro finds himself back at the ticket. And now with a ton of work on his plate. Krems with the push and ultimately not the kill. Somehow Plopsky's there able to salvage what Nip have in this round thus far. But a bomb plan for Fnatic. Oh, and it's dear. just off to Brolin and JW. One HP on Brolin. Almost a knife for Lecro. <laughs> oh, really dear. went for it there. Full sin. Dear. And now with JW on 11. Stuck in the window. I don't believe they know where he is. And interestingly enough. A tap of the bomb from Plopsky. Now, with no silence, no stealth whatsoever, JW goes for the peak, thinking he's still in the bomb, and that's going to be a pistol for Nip, a step that they needed in this series. Yeah, unfortunate for JW there, right? He's low. He doesn't know where that second player is, and he also doesn't know whether the kit's on the defuse. It was not. Plopsky with a fake and with a 4K. It's going to be MIP taking the pistol around here on Mirage. And let, let's look, let's you know recount some of the, the games MIP have had on this map. It's not been great for them in 2020. They played it four times. They got 16-3 by Na'Vi at Kato. I mean, who didn't really? Uh, they, they beat Spirit in Pro League. They lose to Fnatic, obviously, 16-5 in, uh, in, in Pro League as well. And they lost to Complexity in round 30 here in the road to Rio. So NIP really haven't had the best of time on Mirage recently. It's why we're leaning in the favor of Fnatic to 2-0 this one. But at least taking the first round of the game is going to offer up something for, here for NIP. Of course, if you want to look stylish like Harry, shop.eslgaming.com That's quite the compliment, Hugo. But yes, we uh, we do have a few things from that in the inventory now. And I'm loving them all. Yeah. Necro looking to hold down the ramp, but he's not able to deal with Flusher. He does make quick work of him. Now it's still the man advantage for an IP, but I'm going to stop saying words because every time I do, the opposite happens. Now the bomb plant looking to come through here for Flusher, and this time it actually does come through. Ooh, but immediately dealt with by Plopsky, now leaves the fate of this round on the shoulders of Golden, or the Golden Shoulders. Nice. And, uh, oh, oh he's still alive. No, nice. oh, that's a nice dig. That should be it, though. The defuse have come in, and Golden. Don't go around the corner. Don't do it. There we go. He does hold on to the armor and Deeg into this round. Two players surviving for an IP. Maybe, like, you could look to make a case for uh, for spying if you wanted to be really risky on Fnatic, right? If you really wanted to try and bring the heat, but I don't know if they're going to. I really don't see that being, like, the go-to decision here. Not the world we live in. But maybe they're considering it, right? Tactical pause called on in nice and early. Popsky is uh, a bit of a team player there, dropping the AWP to Twist, who managed to find a player coming out of ramp last round. AWP round two, always a risk, right? You know, Fnatic run a fast B play, for example, with pistols, and then they, they get a bomb plant. Suddenly you're in CT spawn with an AWP, wondering about whether you should maybe save. So luckily not going to be an issue right now. What is an issue is train for complexity and dig. It's a double overtime affair. Dig in the lead and well, well, only one round away from taking the first map. We're already way ahead of them though. We're in our second. So is Vitality I noticed, Heretics. I noticed they were playing train. Trace, do you have any cool wall bangs that maybe <laughs> only the two of us and a few select <laughs> folks at Twitter know about that we discovered on that map? Well, it, it Very is a... specific question, you'll note. <laughs> yeah, Very I... loaded. <laughs> 
I, I did note that I guess you could go over to at Stunna on Twitter and, and find this wall bang that you and I nerded out over making a video over last night on train now. Of course. Ooh. Also, there's a force buy from Fnatic. We were saying Ooh. it was a possibility and they've gone for it. They're really trying to bring the heat here in round number three. Brolin and Flusher both sporting AKs. JW with his deagle creeping down through middle and he will go unchecked. They've given JW a bit of room and that's not what you want to do with JW. He set himself up in the ladder room and they still don't know that he could be here. Rez is keeping an eye on it and he will get the information that a man has slipped by through middle and now finds himself over towards short side. There's the response. Rez smoking off the top of Con to try and deny this push. This is really going to force these two players at B, though, to double down and just hold this default, uh, hold these positions Ooh. at B, even more so now with this kill coming in from JW. They don't want to rotate off and risk mm. getting caught, and another kill is now conceded to Fnatic. At this point, it becomes clear to NIP where this play is looking to come in, but they are lacking the manpower. You need someone like Twist to step up, and that nade is at the very, very least put them back into a three on four. Twist set up back in CT spawn with Nork alongside him, but it's a man down retake here for NIP at the A bomb site. They're gonna go for it, flashing right through the fire and flames. Twist gets one, but his teammate immediately trading at this point with 30 health and an orb. Twist is already walking right out of this round. Plops gear two side by side here for NIP. Seems like Fnatic, Fnatic are gonna find their first round in this game. Quite the array of weaponry as well, an AK Galil and a Dem4 taking into the next round, unless they can find upgrades on the ground. And the third round falls for Fnatic. It actually does pay off. NIP giving them kills, right? They they lose a man in the window to JW at that point. NIP feel the pressure to get aggressive. They push Palace, they walk into another AK, and at that point it all just comes tumbling down. Grenade kill from Twist is all he can muster, and NIP are gonna have to forego it. So Fnatic getting their first nice and early into this game. Not letting NIP control the pace considering Fnatic should have been eco and they opted against it. NIP's money now gets drawn into question with three pistols in this round. Board around these two safe guns. Oh, mid control is tempted again by JW. He's going to look to get himself into this front line position and maybe going to post himself up for a short split. Twist does have this AWP and now he no longer has this AWP. Roland <laughs> able to remove it, doubles up. Nork is so blind, he doesn't even know what's coming. And this is where the wrap Ooh. comes in from JW. Him getting that kill should make this an undoable round for NIP. They try and hold on to these weapons. And maybe now they're tempted. Lecro dealing with Flusher, getting aggressive over at short side. At the very, very least, there's weapons to be retrieved and taken out of this round for NIP. So even if they don't attempt this retake, they're still content with how this one comes together. They get away with these two rifles. They're not going to have anything else to offer in this following round, however. And so Fnatic tying it up at two to two now leaves a lot of pressure on Lecro and Rez heading into round number five. If NIP do want to find anything in it. Fnatic bouncing back. Showing a little bit of vulnerability there to begin the game, but if overpass stands as a testament, these guys are in full control. They know exactly what's going on. That's a ridiculous entry for Brolin. He yeah. jumps over the orb shot and midair hits the dink on one of the first bullets and then just obviously carries on the spray, kills Twist. Yeah, Doesn't knock. even get a chance. Knock, of course. Knock. Not also having a good time about it at the bottom ah. of the window. Well, this is going to put guns firmly in the hands. Flush is going to hold on to this Mac. It's going to be golden. It's going to get macked on by Lecro. I like that little cheesy smoke there. Drops uh, one at the bottom of mid, stands on the bench to find a, sort of a one way and gets golden before he gets out. NIP have saved rifles in back to back rounds, and those rifles have at least found kills. Lecro taking an advantage and looking down towards the ramp. Mac 10's there. Flusher can't win this fight. Flusher isn't allowed to win this fight. And so if it does go on, Flusher should get out of there. Lecro, unfortunate timing, falls off. We'll dink Flusher immediately. But no more utility here for NIP to blow him out of the water. Bullets will have to do. 
Now, during this whole altercation between Flusher and Lecro, JW has found his way over here towards short and makes quick okay. work of two players here. Lecro is on with a third, however. He's going to outshine JW there in the head-to-head. -head. In this round, puts a stop to his streak. Plopski's going to hear these players coming in towards B. They've got a check for him, and the Deagle does get rid of Crims, leaving all the pressure on Brolin. And he is spotted. He is dealt with. Plopski and Lecro wow. find a third on the board for NIP in a round that they had very little to offer. I'm glad this is more competitive than maybe we assumed coming into this one, right? Like, Fnatic 16 5 them last time they played Mirage. So. I was a little bit worried, but luckily it's NIP with two rifles and three pistols getting it done. It's really just Lecro in full control of that round. Despite JW's best efforts towards that B-bomb site. Popsky closing it as well. 8-1 on Popsky, quite the performance he's having. JW holding for the cross shot. Twist has got a Mac 10 and he's pushed up to grab a, himself an early kill in the palace. Does find Flusher. Unfortunate couple of rounds in a row for Flusher, getting killed by his own weapon as well from the previous round. Roland does get a refrag into middle. Rez dropped towards jungle side, and Fnatic are still defaulting. They're not committed here. Oh, more pushing for NIP and more punishments from Fnatic. They are full of kills in this round. Roland gets another one to Lecro as Popsky dies in the B apartments and really B is lost. But Fnatic have yet to take it. Crims is trying to do that on his own. Still wary of a second player here. And in the wariness, he's letting a man get out of the market. Twist has found himself inside of the site. Crims is trying to win that fight, but doesn't want to go down. This is still a losable round for Fnatic with how spread they are. They're taking A. Crims is offering up a B fake. Nork is surely not going to be ready for players on this A site. And they could even kill him on the cross as well. Looking towards Crims does get that frag, but the jig is up. Fnatic know where he is. And they're even hunting. They are hot on his heels. JW might even just, there we bye go, bye. nice and easy. Nork's like, well, at least they get away with my gun. And, you know, if I want to look at Silverline, oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this about Fnatic. This is why they're such a fun team to watch, right? Not, not just because, you know, they go for all these knife kills and they're a bit ridiculous in that sense. But just like the confidence they have and the fact that, you know, that they're, they're always going to be hunting these saving players. They're always keen for a gunfight off Fnatic. And, you know, not always to their benefit, right? But a lot of the time it is. And that's what's so impressive. Like, they are just a team that love to take these fights wherever and whenever Ooh. they can. And this round is no exception. JW just sprints into mid and drops Twist from the round. He doesn't even have a chance to play it. He's got to go sit in the lobby while the rest of the gang finish this one off in a four on four now. Luckily, there's still this double orb here, right? Nork's got that gun. He's taking it towards B. So NIP is still well armed in this round. Nork has to be aware of the window boost as well, right? With losing a player there early, Fnatic could consider it, but they're actually focused towards B right now. Nork can assist, but he's going to need Plopski to get that information first. Can come in and watch the windows from market side. Plopsky jumping, gets the info. He spotted the bomb as well. That's everything NIP need here as they can start to rotate. Nor gets caught with a missed shot. JW punishes him. Plopsky on the site, nine and three now as he's put to bed by Crims. That was Plop a good shot. Yeah. yeah. Really impressive stuff there to eliminate knock from that round. Of course, all it takes for him to shoot his up. Next thing you know, the trade comes through swimmingly. JW and company have really encapsulated this B-bomb site and made it their own. So a save on the cards here for the Ninjas, and we look at Fnatic going up four on their T-side of their map pick. Now, that's not the only game going on. We've been kind of bragging about all the Counter-Strike that we have going on for ourselves, and let me just tell you about this little game known as Dignitas versus Complexity. Weird flex, but okay. Okay. Even weirder flex would be that the game is currently on round 43. <laughs> On train, it is 21 to 21. Forrest, oh, wait, really? 33 <laughs> and 27, Dig, and Blame F, 37 what? and 22. Dig so that. We're up like 21 18. There's one in, round to win. There is round 43, did you just yes, say? Yes, that's, that's that what is, I said. Take a look. It's all in the right That is pudding. unreal. Oh, we're getting like two series for the price of one here in on this the first one map. map. Yeah, that's incredible.
Yes, it is. I kind of wish we were covering it, honestly. Like, I, I, I love watching this dig squad, but obviously when you look at like the ramifications of these games and, and you know, what we're going to get to see, I'm very happy about having Fnatic and IP yeah. as well. This is the most important matchup. 100%. And you know, I think coming in at number second will probably be that Vitality versus Heretics matchup. Wow. So we're going to keep an eye on that one as well, Trace. Yeah, and the fact that Ince took a straw over time and then lost. So not so easy for Ince. Now things get a little tense for Ince. Of course, they look towards that second map of Nuke. Now, pivot back our conversation and focus here to the Nip and Fnatic game in hand. Hugo did say it, or maybe it was Harry. Either way, we're talking about how important this game is. Yeah, I don't even know which one of us said it at this point. We all said it. We could all say it again together. We've done that before. Don't think we do that again, but... You know I love how you have to shut it down because you could see me and Hugo ready just to just get it. ready. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's sync it up again. Well, you love it, you say it. But and that is what we're saying. And what we are saying is how important this game is, Hugo. Yes, Rez is over here in the window, and he is a man who has very much come to terms with the importance of this game. Now, he gets tagged early on in this round, and he is sent out from the mid window as a result. Brolin's going to line up a little smoke there over towards the top of Connector. That falls to block off a vision from stairs. And that actually allows them to get up through Con, and they are, now they can peek up on the stairs on the left if they want to fight in the bomb site. They can also try and clear jungle, but that's where this responsive nade, I think thrown from Lecro, is very, very important. Ooh, Suddenly wow. Fnatic have got to run through this smoke if they want to execute their plans. And there will be an execution of sorts. It's Rez wielding the battle axe right now, and he's looking for even more. Does get shut down by Crims, TikTok. but it's still a 2v4. Now 1v4 for JW. 10 seconds, he's running, but he's not going to get away. And even if he tries to go through Ooh. the murder hole, he does. Oh, he's running the gauntlet. What a he legend. might get away. Uh -oh. Stay oh. right behind him, and he doesn't manage to get there in time. It was an impossible run. <laughs> And it will stay that way. Yeah, I mean, he's at least put himself uh, up for the 100 meter challenge. Not going to be beating anyone anytime soon, but it doesn't help when you're running with a sniper on your back. Probably weighs you down a little bit. Either way, that was a round with nothing for NIP. That was an, a hero AK on res, and he mows him down. Fnatic, obviously, you know, committing to a smoke with 20 seconds. They, the, you know, the setup of the round maybe wasn't great there for that to have happened, but they really walked into the worst possible position they could have. Yeah, speaking of being in some rough positions, Vitality having picked up the first map of their series over there on Nuke, 16-10. The Heretics try to bounce back, but as you can see, it's not gone quite too well for them mm -hmm. here so far on Dust2. And Vitality are up 8-1. to one. Shocks, 11-2. and two. Nine rounds in, 10 rounds into the game, so... Vitality on their way, getting the job done. Now, I had an idea. Don't know if it was one of my better ideas, but perhaps I'll just kick it to you guys anyway. What do you think? Let's hear it. So I'm thinking we cast this next round. Couple words, couple words, couple words. In Ooh. like a circle? Yeah, yeah. we can In like give succession. it a go. You, know, we have you to can continue, continue each other's sentences. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, mid play now. And Twist with the AWP will miss the shot. Oh, JW's dead too. Lecro falls off. And that's going to cause Lecro to fall right back here. It's going to give a little bit of room to work with for Fnatic. Yeah, now with the mid control taken, Fnatic, they've got their options open. And we're going to wait and see where they look to end up. That bomb still dropped top mid, and there is a bit of a push in the palace. Not getting curious. And they do, you know what curiosity does kill? Yes, cats. Always that endangered cat. Never can be too safe with the curiosity. Oh, they're going to go back towards A with the bomb. Yeah, and we've created a buffer at this point, or at least Nip have, between them and Fnatic. And now sneaking all the way through T-Spawn here, our Fnatic, but Nork is in pole position to do something big in this round. The timing is everything for Nork. Is he going to catch the right timing, though? Pressure's on. Clock's ticking. Setting up outside of the site now. Our Fnatic, 35 seconds on this timer. Nork is going to hear three clicks of smoke grenades. He knows everyone is here. He is fully ready for this, and this flank could win the round. It could. And depending on the pace at which he does it, he's going to kick it up a notch here. Yeah, trying to speed things up. He knows the time is now, if at all. Rez back here in CT, has Plopski with him. But Nork still ready to come in on this big flank. Oh, baby, he's holding the trigger discipline. He's got a kill. Golden's gone, but the man in the palace has been heard, and the grenade will cut him off. But the bomb does go down, and that's going to be the pivotal thing here for Fnatic in this round. Even if they don't pull it off, it's just Ooh. rolling in flush, a big shot. 
And now just Flusher left, hidden in this smoke. There's players all around him. They tap on this bomb. Nork is holding the palace. And for Flusher, there's no more luck in this round. Five on the board now for NIP. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? It's, it's We made I, it work, but it feels kind of jarring. It, I, I think we just should have just went with like a sentence, a sentence, a sentence. Yeah. But sentence is not it, really like hard, a strong you know? suit. So uh, we'll work on that England for you guys. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, it is ninjas that pull ahead by one. And still going on is this complexity Dignitas game as I look behind me. 23 to 23. Dignitas about to get a 24th, of course. The Does anyone know what like the, the world record is for longest series off the top of my head? I know it's the uh, longest Ooh. map, rather. I know it's like some ludicrously high amount, yeah. like 80 rounds or something. But, but complexity it, did win that round. So it I depends like. what like level you're looking at as well. Well, right. The longest game I can think of was in UK Prem. Obviously not really tier one CS, yeah. but that went to like 80 rounds or something Oof. stupid. I think it actually might have been like 50, 52, 40. 49 or, or something along those lines so quite a quite a long game that's such a hundred rounds so yeah who knows but right now let's stick with the hero the now nip in control and an eco for fanatic with this hero ak on flusher it really needs to find results he's taking let her out of the picture at least but i'm gonna be rejoining in t-spawn we got one mid luck res is looking for it and he's found the kill with minimal damage done by a jw now down to these two yeah, Flush has been spotted. That nade might delete Rez, and indeed it does. Now, Nork has his attention divided between the ramp and the palace, but he's going to make the correct assumption that there's a player here, and it's a little bit of an assumption mixed with a little bit of gumption from Nork to find the opener. Flusher, now all alone, needs the ace in a 1v3 if he wants to pick this one up. The odds forever stacked against him here. He was holding T-spawn yeah. until just moments ago, and even if he dealt with Nork there, the failsafe was Plopsky. He would have had that round under lock and key regardless. So NIP, six to four, building a convincing case here on Mirage. Not a map that they fielded too well on in the past, right? The only victory right. they have logged is versus Team Spirit. And even that was a 16-14. Last time we saw Fnatic and NIP played, it was what? 16-5 to Fnatic. So already outdoing previous performances. NIP looking to try and keep that, that dream alive in this series. Speaking of dreams for Crims, that's the end. Good night, sweet Crims. <laughs> yes, picked up straight away by the AWP, and well, they're not done. Nork will also find one. Double round advantage here for NIP in this round. Fnatic, I'd love to see some of these faster approaches, maybe towards B. They're going to do it here, but obviously in a bit of a caveat. No more grenades. JW uh, doesn't even have a rifle, and NIP are ready for it. Double mollies coming in. Rez has dropped a, th uh, a third player in the middle. Uh, Fnatic are trying to bail, but where can you even go at this point? The players on Cat hear the other drop and the push up top mid. Ooh, it gets stopped. JW finding Rez, really trying to let him know. Uh, but he's going to walk into the AWP here in middle and it should be a done deal. Bomb dropped through the smoke and lower. JW is going to run back for it, but uh, one on three on his plate. An ace clutch needed. Yeah, only a Mad Lad would spray a body mid round. Of course, Mad Lads, well, world's full of them. Now, speaking of Mad Lads, it's probably the most opportune time for me to ask you to show us if you're watching all four streams at once. That's using hashtag ESL1. Go ahead, load it up on the Twitter sphere. Show us that you have that, Deddy. Show us that you are in for, to win here with the ESL1 Road to Rio. Yeah, if your tweets are good, we might even bring them up on the stream. But nothing guaranteed, of course. Nope. Don't want to <laughs> get ahead of ourselves here. Of course. 24-24, Dick complexion. <laughs> It's never going to end, is it? We're going to be done with our series before they're done with the map. Fnatic is setting up B here. They've got pistol armor. This half has not been too kind to them so far. So let's see if they can get a bomb plant and make something happen here. It's a low man B. This is the best round Fnatic is going to get, uh, at least for this rush. Plopsky, though, trying to stall with the smoke, trying to buy time. They're rushing him down. He's got a chance to find three, and he gets them all as well. Sidearm out for even more. Bombs dropped in the site. Fnatic won't even leave the apartments. Their body's going to be found here in just a moment as Nork finds them both. NIP eight rounds. So what do we reckon is going on with Fnatic right now? Because this is quite the uh, the turnaround from NIP, right? And while everyone individually is stepping up on the NIP squad, it feels like, you know, a couple of key players have fallen very, very quiet for Fnatic here on Mirage, right? right. Like, you think about the impact someone like Flusher was having back on Overpass. Same can be said for a man like Brolin. Or even, you want to talk about impact in this map? I think Plofsky has been pivotal 
to the success that Nip has found thus far. He's always been a nuisance. He's found himself in, in duels up at the top of Connector, even out in middle as far as being there wherever Fnatic are just to throw a spanner in their works. And perhaps Fnatic can pick up the pieces. Currently down eight to four on their map pick. Oh, Lecro, Lecro with a B Hall's push. He's all the way through TV room. Did he turn the TV off? Probably not. Now he's got the bomb and he's got Krims out of the round. That's going to go a long way. It's unfortunate there for Fnatic, but now that that bomb is completely out of their hands, how will they recover? How will they reverse this? Brolin showing a little bit of presence there towards the stairs and ultimately silencing what it was a duel as Twist it falls. Plofsky, yet again, right place, right time. And look at York. Mate, look at Brolin. He's like a ghost. Nork will go unchecked and I say Brolin's like a ghost. That would make Popsky a ghost buster in this instance. He shuts him down. JW is suddenly left in a clutch and it all falls apart again for Fnatic. It feels like everyone, I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it has been the case that every one of these last few rounds have just been players left in like 1v3s for Fnatic. You know, they're not even trading these kills evenly. Something that this squad yeah. is usually so good at doing, right? That That is definitely one thing. It feels like Fnatic are going for very split plays, like very puggy stuff, which kind of worked on Overpass, but this is a different case right now. I'd love to see some fast assaults, like quick cat takes, you know, get that mid control that NIP have, uh, have have been relinquishing, right? The AWP has been a bit of a problem, but if you smoke that up in the window, you can easily get some, you know, quick mid to Bs or something of the sorts. Yeah, and you know, even back on Overpass, right, while it was still like, while it was still this kind of more individual-esque style, there was normally, you know, like one or two players off on their own and like a bit of a lurk mission with the, like the main core grouped up and sticking together. And here on Mirage, it really hasn't felt like that. Like so many of these fights are just one player pushing an area of the map. And the closest to like team play in that round for Fnatic was Brolin and Flusher working together to try and clear the A bomb site. And that actually netted them some kills as well. But then it all turned sour in like the blink of an eye. It's like they forgot how to play Mirage. Today. Ooh. Which is strange. Molotov's gonna keep Rez out of the window, but Twist is there with an ever watchful pair of eyes. Can we look at that window smoke just quickly before it fades? Uh, Bastion, yeah, okay, that's nice. Uh, Rez threw the Molotov as he entered the window to create the one way. The smoke bloomed a little weird though on top of the ledge. So he's not gonna be able to fight it. He didn't actually put out the Molotov for some reason, but NIP, well, they'll put out Fnatic in this round. Two immediate kills into middle. Fnatic can't get control here, and Rez is gonna be a further problem as he finds his second. Brolin, oh my, he doesn't what? even get a chance. He walks into the smoke and gets insta-sprayed. Well, stars aligning for NIP, and they've gotta be feeling so confident right now, and that's barely gonna help, you know, well, not barely going to help. That isn't going to help Fnatic. Yeah, what's Flusher going to do right now? You can imagine they're trying to talk about how trying to tie this last round of the, the half in their favor. Flusher putting a little bit of damage down. Maybe that finds Twist. It's real close. It's only going to bring him down to 17 HP. Flusher drops a smoke to his left and ultimately gets peeked from everywhere on his right. 10 to 4. Nip are running the score up. And that's what you love to see, Harry Russell. Yeah, it feels like, you know, Fnatic, they come into this feeling really, really confident and early on it is still like neck and neck. And, you know, we've all been in these situations where you're leading a game and, you know, that's kind of how I'm going to look at this, right? Like through that same lens in the in the sense that Fnatic are already 1-0 up in this series, right? You're, you're very much in the lead. You're feeling really confident. You completely outclassed your opponents oh. thus far in the game. <laughs> and then suddenly you come into Mirage and this feeling is so <laughs> horrible <laughs> to have it all turn against you. The auto sniper only gets one and thank goodness <laughs> shout out Lecro for bringing that out here for NIP <laughs> not gonna drop the bomb out in the open there's a flank coming in from Rez that Fnatic just won't be aware of this round oh it might be over <laughs> with shots like that coming in what can you even do on the Fnatic side JW now all alone oh, and Rez on this flank should have the round dead to rights like JW nice cup that complexity Dignitas game did end, oh, but yeah. this one nowhere near it. Right now, as the crowd roars in the background, you can kind of hear kind of fainting away at this point. Fnatic and Nip, though, going out of toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mirage, and Nip have found themselves in the driver's seat here with Harry and Hugo. And, of course, on our road to Rio...
that is where you want to be in the car at the very minimum. Yeah, that cold yeah. game only took, you know, 52 rounds. So pretty quick one, if you ask me. Uh, we're uh, we're heading into our second half between Fnatic well, before and Before that, LIP. we are going to quickly recap the entirety of that 52. Yeah, yeah so I think we start with 19, the first pistol. I think uh, is, is the important one that we want to start with. No. Um, so what's going on here with, with Nip, though? How, other than the fact that there are some shining lights and some really good individual impact plays that are happening for Ninjas, why is it that Fnatic looked so lost on Mirage? Fnatic were very split, right? We didn't see much trading on that T side initially. Yeah. I think that's one of the main problems, but middle proved to be a real problem. Fnatic constantly trying to take it, but NIP would keep switching up their points of contact, right? Having aggressive catwalk plays in the form of Nork up in the ladder, having Twist orping in the window, having Res fight in connector. Every round, it seemed to be a different piece of the yeah. pie for NIP. Not, not to mention, right, like usually in, in a game of Counter-Strike, you have like these very standard like ebbs and flows and kind of rhythm to it right and with, and with Fnatic deviating away from that I think it made NIP that much harder to read on the other side right like because NIP are just matching this very unpredictable style of Counter-Strike by constantly keeping things dynamic on their side right and uh, it, it's made it pretty hard for Fnatic to have a good read as to what was going on in this first half and this kind of spread out style really didn't lend itself well to the Fnatic squad so now they sit seven rounds behind, and a pistol feels like a must here if, come back, if, if Fnatic want to come back, sorry, on this second map. Of course, their map pick, by the way. Yeah, and a map up in the series. Dominant stuff back on overpass, but not quite as dominant as this. NIP we to put the final, final piece of the puzzle in place. The final. Which the is kind of like the puzzle. It's kind of like a tree, the final tree act. The final Richie, man. We all remember him. Great guy. Now, oh. Nork out in the B site. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. well, he's actually been deleted, hasn't he? And now Plopsky arriving on this lurk in a CT spawn actually go. could do a hell of a lot. He's got Fnatic trapped oh, at dear. the B bomb site, and no. Plopsky is dictating absolutely everything in this round. Crims is suddenly in a 1v2. This has gone from two on four. To 1v2, favoring the opposition in a, in the blink of an eye. Crims, what can he even do here? He's retrieved the smoke at the very, very least, but that's not going to help him massively because he is lacking this kit. He drops it on the bomb, and that's to hopefully bait this peak from Twist. He's offered that. <laughs> what a disaster of a round for the Fnatic side. Yeah, right. They full rotate B as they should. There's a lot of pressure there for an IP, but that's pressure to allow Popski to get here. And in fact, in this two on four right here, uh, Fnatic have everyone inside a B. All of their players are stuck market or in the site. And so Plopsky just deals with them one by one as they try and rotate back towards A. That's where the bomb was going. And that's where the round is won. NIP 12 to four. Fnatic forcing in the second. CZ arm with a couple of scouts in play, but they need some miracles. If they want to make this one work. JW Flash can't see a thing in middle. NIP have control once again. Pastor Kearney Thomas. And that's going to be miracles. But anyway, enough of my boomer antics. Fnatic don't have an answer for Nip so far. But having answers are Vitality beating up on the Heretics actually in the second map. 13-5 might be about to drop around, make it at 13-6, but either way they won the first. And maybe that'll set them up for success in a quick series. Plopsky though, he's having some success here. 19 and four in the server, only 82 ADR, but I can guarantee you he has been the driving force. He is the screwdriver to the screw that is going right into the heart of Fnatic on Mirage. Wow, let's see if this force can find anything. Crims has mustered a kill, and Brolin's actually dropped another with a CZ. So blink and you miss it. Fnatic in a five on three, and NIP have to commit here. They've got enough time, but they've not got the bomb. That's the biggest problem. Brolin has control of that down towards the ramp, and more pistol kills for Fnatic. They've actually traded places in the smoke. Brolin still has this package. He's going to fight tooth and nail for it, but he actually gets aggressive and gets caught. Plotsky cuts off two B rotates, and now he's in a one on two. Now he's in a winnable round, but Crims will deny it with the scout three there. And uh, doesn't go to get the AK, but his teammate will, luckily enough. Fnatic find a force, and they keep themselves in this map. And, you know, I think if Crims can find his footing and start to step up alongside Brolin and JW, 
then maybe there's still some hope for Fnatic yet, right? Because thus far in this game, it has very much felt like we're hinging on the performance of JW and Brolin in this map, at least. Flusher was a real beast back on Overpass. He's not been off to the same rip-roaring start here on Mirage, but there's always time for him to catch up. And in the meantime, we're going to look elsewhere Ooh. for players to try and rise to the occasion. Crims could certainly be the answer. Popski going to get out in towards top mid with his scout. Crims looking down into the lower tunnel right now, and that is where Rez finds himself. That nade lands a little bit of damage. Not really anything to write home about. It's JW getting tagged early on in this round. Sent out of the mid area and exchanging guns with Crims. So JW now finds himself on a scout. It's the old switcheroo, though. Back through T-spawn with the bomb. And IP going to be setting up for an A execute. Two smokes to play with. That's it. Jungle and Stairs getting lined up by the two in question. And the final man going to come and join NIP at this A play. No one inside of the site for Fnatic. They are playing retake, but they have the kit, so no problem. Bronal with the molly, but already players have passed it. However, that will cut off some more. The bomb is now out and about. Two players in, and Brolin's looking to send them out. But Twist has killed him through the triple box, and JW's been pushed back. He's missing the scout shots, and he can't afford to. Bomb's been denied, though. Crims drops that. Ooh. JW catches Twist, climbing Ooh. up, and this scout is starting to roar to life. Two Make it three as Crims finds another. Plopski in a one on three now. They're going to push him. No fear from Fnatic, and they take a quick round dealing with that A play. Yeah, and it's looking like not a great economy here for the Ninjas. So, what I will do is ask us to load up one of these tweets that I asked you guys to get out there on the Twitter sphere right here, right now. Now, check this out. This guy's doing it right. Nick Kennedy, 1023. He's only got three streams going, and that's okay, because he wasn't one of those that sent us a screenshot of yeah. four screens on the same screen. Well, also, I do notice that it looks like there's like a laptop there that maybe he could spring open and get a fourth yeah. stream Also, an on. Xbox player from the looks of it, so that's cool, too. As, as long as it's that. alongside a PC, it's like, you know, a casual party game environment. That's fine by me, Trace. I mean, it can never you know, be more important than the PC game. But it can be alongside. Of course. And so JW drops into the underpass. And we see another round go swimmingly for Fnatic. Easy as that. Went so fast, we almost didn't even know what happened. Either way, I'm inviting you all to participate in our little reindeer games using the hashtag ESL1. Let us know how you're watching. That's what I asked for. That's what we got. A lot of you have tweeted in. Yeah, but remember, if you get four streams and then you, you slightly minimize the window size and put them all on one monitor and then you press print screen and you tweet that to us, we're probably not going to show it because about 50 people did that. Yep. Not special. Nice I mean, try, they're, though. They're special, you know, but we're looking for extra special. Yeah, that one extra step. You need as many monitors as a man can muster. And right now, Fnatic, they're monitoring the middle. NIP are pushing through the smokes, though. Rez is going to walk through this cat play. And, oh, Crims has just missed it. Looking back, but the AK is already trained. Doesn't get more unlucky there for Crims. Falling short of that fight. JW tries to spray back through the smoke, but the molly keeps him out of middle. NIP have Dominion over this area. And look at B as well. Plomsky has walked through the B smoke. He's found himself a timing. He's beaten Gold into the punch, and he's punched Flusher in the face. B is open, and Fnatic, they might be locked out of this round. Yeah, that's what it's starting to smell like. B stream update for you, but we're in the thick of it here. What can Fnatic do? Ooh. Big round for them. JW, even bigger frag. Brought uh -oh. with a second. This one's starting to tumble for the nip. Side, 2v3. Was a two on five. Ooh. Here's Lecro with some great position inside a jungle. And what that's going to do is open up an opportunity here on the A site. They can traverse and bring this bomb all the way back, albeit it's just baby Brolin left by his lonesome. Yeah, there's still a good chance for him, though, right? They, as far as they're aware, they cut off the man moving into CT, and now Brolin's here a little bit sooner than perhaps NIP were ready for. He will be ready as well for Lecro coming in behind. That bomb gets planted, and Brolin did just go back and check it. This is still now a very, very tricky 1v3. Like, he had a bit of a chance to get a kill, but that bomb gets planted, and suddenly the round becomes a lot harder to navigate for Brolin. 13 on the board for this NIP side, and still problems for Fnatic. Plopsky catching. A hell of a timing in towards B, and there's just no one holding the apartments. It's Plopsky, man. I'm telling you, he's the one here for this nip side that's getting this job done. The guy is everywhere. He's currently 24 and 8 into that last round. And actually, he does end that round 24 and 8, 95 80 yard. Good guy. 
top tier performance from this dude and it might be enough to make nip take us to a third here it's inferno the final map of the series and only three rounds away from that map indeed fanatic can they stop this here and now it's down to this round their money will be gone if they lose it but at least they're armed well, right? They have everything they need. The double orb is in play. Golden's joining JW. Crim spots under. He sees someone. JW missed shot. And uh, things are falling apart for Fnatic here. They can't find kills. No rush. They don't have to fight for this middle area. But NIP have been using it really well to split the sights and get players behind enemy lines in that window boost. Oh, dear. Nork is holding. Pushed up as Brolin. The AK not working out. Brolin hits a shot first. JW has finally gotten the kill he's been desperate for in middle, putting us in a five on three, watching for the window boost. But there's another man at the top of middle. He was ready for the bench play. He wasn't even considering the top side. So Rez gets a kill, but Flusher trades. Rez is still alive, and Lecro has not been seen in this round. He's crawling through the connector into Crims. No. Oh. This might not end well. Oh, oh. there we go. <laughs> Lecro will catch the timing here, but he's been hurt and Crims <laughs> continues to hold the line. It's a team ace there for Fnatic. Everyone chipping in, everyone pulling their weight. And so now eight on the board for the Fnatic squad. Still in with a chance of closing the distance here on Mirage, especially when you consider the outcome of that round has led to a broken economy now for NIP. They will reinvest. Uh -oh. It's not going to be great. Meanwhile, Ents versus Astralis. Once again, Ents find themselves in the lead, this time on Nuclo, no less. 9-6 at the end of that first half of play and just beginning their T side. So we'll keep you updated on that one as the results continue to spill in. Speaking of spilling in, it might be a B play here from NIP as they look to spill through the apartments. They're going to try and overwhelm the players inside of the site. Lecro, nothing more than a distraction down here in mid. And that has baited the rotation of Crims back away from this B site. He actually reconsiders and rejoins the gang here. So a three-man hold at B. Oh, Flusher dear. locking it down. And Fnatic, perfect read on this round. They should be about to find a ninth. Cool flashbang, I think. Yeah. Don't really know about that one, but it doesn't matter. Fnatic aren't even really tested in that round as it stands. A little bit of an attempt at misdirection from the nip side, and it doesn't go well. 13-9. to nine. Yeah, and despite NIP holding this this lead, do remember this was an 11-4 half. NIP found a pistol, and Fnatic found three off the back of the second round four. So, you know, all things considered, NIP have only had two rounds to the five of Fnatic in this half. We are early days, of course, but... I'm just saying, don't count Fnatic out of this comeback. This is their map pick for a reason. And they're starting to warm up. They're starting to look better than ever here. That was the eco done and dusted, though. NIP back in with guns. And really, Fnatic can't afford to let the ball drop, not once. Double connect to play. It's NIP in the B apartment, though. This cat split from Lecro is looking to get made quick work off. JW does exactly that. And now it's up to the man inside of B, plus the AWP. Golden looking for the shots. He's found one. Gonna get overwhelmed here by the utility, but Flush is coming to cut off the cross. He won't let them get close to his in game leader. The nade follows. They will try and push, and they will take him down, but Plopsky's so low. Golden can use his sidearm. He'll go down as well. Plopsky is making this round happen on his own. But the nades are still there for Fnatic as well as a Molotov locking them out. Krems on a big oh. road. Rotation, oh the nade does come through eventually, but that rotation from Crims would have been the difference maker. Knock left in a 1v2 inside of the site on his own device. He's going to try to pick up the bomb. And meanwhile, JW just working his way slowly through these B apartments. His teammate and Brolin not anxious, not eager to get in the fight, and rightfully so. Knock is given a little bit of freedom of movement here. And it might be just enough to give him that confidence to go for the bomb plant. Plenty of time on the clock. Yeah, because he's cleared this position, he now should be expecting the apartment's flank, right? I don't know if he'll read into Brolin, but let's see what Nork thinks. Plant for the market. He wants to play for that position, but here's the wrap round, and JW's got the kill. Easy stuff. I love the double flank from Fnatic, right? Showing yourself in one position and then rotating all the way around the map is the last thing that a player is going to expect. Yeah, not a lot of body shooting going on here. A little bit, but not a lot. Yeah, I don't know. If you're fanatic, you don't want to start shooting bodies because you're not in control of this yeah, game right exactly. now. Like, it, you know, you can't really BM when you're losing. It doesn't really work because anyone would just turn around to you and go, yeah, shoot my body all you want. I'm winning the rounds. I mean, I don't know. If there's one thing I've learned about Counter-Strike, it's BM when you win, 
being when you lose. Definitely. I, I like the fire, but I don't know if Fnatic, uh, you know, are, are feeling that right now. They'd rather win this game. They'd rather focus on the bigger picture, the project. Flusher running through the Molotov as the smoke blooms. He gets out of there alive. He was trying to get towards the, the catch up, I presume, but the smoke cuts off his line of sight. So, yeah, just a bit of a hop, skip and a jump back to the same position. He's here in the window, 20 HP less. This is a ballsy position from Crims, one that he could definitely stand to do a lot of damage from, however. There's a re-smoke throwing down at the lip of Con, and that has got the attention of NIP. Crims is on a real timer, and they're setting up to do a boost. Crims is here, his next door neighbor, to Lekro and Pro Plopski, and not the nice kind. He will get dealt with by Rez, traded out in some way, but it's still a two for one in favor of Fnatic. NIP starting to feel the pressure now. As Fnatic are building this scoreline back up and looking to make Mirage a competitive one after all. Rez and Co. Trying to get through mid. Walk up in Palace. This is all going to culminate at the A-bomb site. And they try and get Twist into window. Brolin is... And timing's not in his favor. Flusher, though, will keep things in favor of Fnatic. JW couldn't have had a worse timing there if he tried. The moment he looks away from Palace, the peak comes through. And this round was a two on four for NIP. I guess a three on four, rather, but still, they've gotten it down into a great spot. Nork is holding Easy. for this CT peak, and this leaves Flusher all alone. 1v2 and a 14th round looking to deny the way of NIP. But he's got so many angles to check. He's clearing mid before he even gets here. So only knows the whereabouts of Nork with this AWP and CT spawn, and that's it. He's called it. He's written this one off. It's a 14th on the board for NIP. Yeah, he's hanging around because there's a, there's a rifle there. It might be an AWP dropped in middle. So even if it isn't an AK, at least Flusher wants the upgrade. Waiting to see if anyone exits. And... Oh, has the bomb blown it back? No, he's got an AK-47. That's all he'll find. That's all he'll get away with. But it's a round for NIP, most importantly. Talking of uh, important things, Fnatic finding three in a row before they eventually lose a rifle round is key because they can at least buy up here. If they lost that round three ago, they would have been broken up against 14. They still have skin in the game. They still have a chance. But NIP leading by example, two rounds away from Inferno. Yeah, Great yeah. recovery for a team that's had a horrible track record on Mirage in the past. You want to talk about important things, Vitality, best her heretics. 2-0. Close out that second map of Dust 2, 16-7. Entz as well, currently beating Astralis 12-6 mm. right now. So keep that in mind. Second map of the series there, though. Of course, Astralis unsurprisingly up by one. Oh, yeah, end the series. NIP, they're grouping for an A play. Fnatic with one man in the sight. Brolin, does he want to hang around or does he want to fall off towards CT? Already peeling back and playing for retake here. Him and Flusher with the kits. And Fnatic need to get ready. Oh, and just before these smokes have come in, Crims peeling off. Looking into connector, Brolin can have a lot on his shoulders here. And what does he want to do? He's going to block the CT smoke Ooh. first and foremost. And now with a little bit more room to work with, lays down the pain into ramp. He's blocking this smoke, the answer wow. for Brolin. He gets away with a lot of damage and he nice. goes back in, but even more. Lecro will at least get that trade, but it's a great job from the midfielder in the form of Brolin. Now, Sight does belong to NIP, but in a very tenuous sense of the word, right? Fnatic, they're swarming around this A bomb site. Crims is going to throw this flashbang in, allows him a bit more freedom of movement, but then he's quickly put back in his cage by Twist. JW now taking a Brolin peek from CT and Ooh. doesn't quite have the same finesse that Brolin did. Flusher. Now in a 1v2, the bomb plant gonna oh, come in. He's dear. doing damage there on the spam, and he's got it down oh, to no. a 1v1, but Lecro swings out immediately after. That is a really nice try from Flusher, but not good enough. 15 on the board for NIP. Yeah, Nip just right here, ready to go to the finish line, and it's only fair that we catch up with our friend Nick Kennedy. Let's go ahead and load that tweet up. Now, he has righted his wrongs. <laughs> we got all four of the screens now going, and of course, one of the games has ended. Therefore, 
is it really all four screen? Well, we'll it count it. Like it. We'll yeah. count yeah, it. Yeah, man. No, I, I love the dedication to uh, to provide us. Flusher with that spam, though. I want to talk about that, right? Like, not many people know about that. You can shoot through the default box if you find the right angle. Not a lot of damage done by it, but he put, he puts Lekker on 10, still gets the player swinging, and almost finishes the job. That's just heartbreaking for Flusher. Fnatic, they've had their economy just ripped out from underneath them. Bank accounts drained. Credit cards cloned. Cloned? Cloned now. Yeah, so... people clone credit cards and then they spend all the money. Have you, have you heard about this? Have you seen this? I know we were talking about grand theft around here, but I suppose nothing about this has been automatic for the side of Fnatic. Well, it certainly ain't Gran Turismo because NIP are not racing to the finish line. They are taking their sweet time here in middle. Hello, Crims. He's been good at gimmicking around this little uh, con smoke time and time again. Always a bit of a threat in this position. But NIP pretty much avoid it altogether. They go back towards ramp and set up for this A play. They even throw a window smoke on their rotation back. And so that's going to give Rez a bit more freedom of movement to come in on this flank while the rest of NIP have their sights firmly set. Ooh. At the A-bomb site, Rez is deep down by Flusher. Brolin getting a lot of damage off on these players uh. crossing. Still in with a chance as Crims does deal with Plopsky through the smoke. Flusher tries to run into the site. That wasn't Flusher, it was Brolin rather. Tries to pick up the pace and he wow. might come to regret it. Crims will double up, deals with another. Two on two, still a chance for Fnatic, but these odds are stacked against them. The bomb isn't planted for Twist, however. No kit on Fnatic, kind of mitigates that danger. The lineup for Nork is going to help out even more and Crims is shut down.